Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I am so glad you're here, you guys. As you can imagine, Twitter is ablaze with funny memes and jokes, laughing about the ridiculousness that is, I don't even, the jam, I guess. Um, whatever Megan's up to, they are having a blast with. So I can't wait to talk about it with you. So I thought we could take a look at some memes and some pictures and talk about a few things and have some laughs. I'm Jen Honk Honk, everyone. Thanks for being here. Okay. <laughs> I've seen this going around and it's cracking me up. Salty Duchess, hashtag we love Catherine, posted this. Hashtag scam jam. <laughs> scam jam is great. With the... Um, I don't know, the ridiculous over-the-top displays and the lemons and all that, but I really am enjoying Scam Jam. And it says, Tacky Jam with the label hanging off. Hashtag Scam Jam. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's, it's so... <laughs> I'm still laughing about this one. HRH Princess Chelsea posted this one. I have a genius marketing plan, she said. Oh, my goodness, and it's called Spread em, Honey. <laughs> <laughs> like the Duchess <laughs> of Montecito. Oh, too, you guys are so clever. And here we have Princess I Am, I Am, I Am. And it says, new merch coming to groceries near you. Megan in a jam and Megan in a pickle. <laughs> then we have the always delightful Laird of the Manor who shared this. <laughs> this is marketing genius. Don't let the consumer know what they're paying for. Mystery jam. It could be strawberry. It could be fig. It could be fermented Megan Sweat. Ew. Who knows? <laughs> Strawberry jam makes me happy. That's what the original, um, the person that had shared this photo said. And Laird is pointing out the same thing I said, which is, where does it say strawberry and how is this person clairvoyant? All right. Then the Murky Meg podcast shared this lovely little Megan blind item from Crazy Day and Nights. That's that blind item site that I talk about. Let's take a look at the blind and then we'll come back to what Murky Meg is saying. Here's the blind item. It says, you only got a gift basket from the illiterate one if you agreed in advance to promote it on your social media and promised not to give it or sell it to anyone else, which is one of the reasons why the jars are numbered. The other reason is to make it seem as if each batch is a limited edition when in fact you can go to the supplier and they will do th the same thing for every company. Okay, I want to add on to this, and we will go back to the original post, but we're going to look at Maggie's <laughs> creation here that I love. Look at the stupid hat that Maggie wears. Anyway, I'm stuck on this. I, I can't quit thinking about it because it is the worst launch of anything I've ever seen. The sloppy, messy way in which the website slash, I don't know, Instagram page was rolled out and still not actually out. The way that this is being shared over social media... The buzz she's trying to create over this jam. And and again, it goes back to everything, always ties back to Megan. Think about just what we know of Megan. She thinks the most expensive thing is what looks the best on her when it's never the case. She always looks wrinkled and messy, right? But spends a ridiculous amount of money. But it seems to be that she's carrying this philosophy over to her jam making as well. I know they're going to be ridiculously expensive. She's trying to make it seem like this exclusive thing, but there's just no substance there. They're the product doesn't make any sense. How are you going to call it an orchard and then sell strawberry based things? Uh, we'll get into all that. I just, I'm just, I had to get that off my chest. Like, this is just so crazy. Back to the Murky Meg post, a podcast post. It says, lovely little, you know, that blind, controlled PR, which also suggests, as suspected, it wasn't made from her house or even in Montecito, but by a company that does this for other companies. How very, quote, select. Okay, and while we're talking Murky Meg podcast, I wanted to share this one as well. Um, excellent comment regarding the lame attempt at Meghan Markle's soft launch for ARO and the sad use of plain strawberry jam. Okay, listen to this. So this was shared by In the Middle of Cornfield, and I thought this was such a good point. Here we go. This is driving me crazy. There's a, literally a citrus orchard on the grounds. She sends out strawberry jam. Ding, ding, ding. That's what I said as well. It doesn't make any sense. She also called the thing orchard. <laughs> 
Let's see. She could have done lemon curd with the lemons on site and egg yolks from their chickens, along with candied peel and limoncello, all from the same lemons. I've done those for decades as homemade Christmas gifts, and they are so simple to make it isn't funny. She could have done orange marmalade or Asian pear jam. I don't know how to say Is it quince jam? <laughs> JFC, how about fig preserves in a charcuterie basket? The company brand freaking name <laughs> includes orchard, and she introduces it with strawberry blanking jam. She can't even do a product rollout correctly. I thought this was brilliant and so well said. I, I have no idea about making the lemon stuff that the lady was talking about, but I'm here for it. I don't, I don't care about Megan succeeding, but I get what they're saying. I think that's such an interesting point. And she could have tied it back to her favorite thing herself and said, this came from our lemon trees. This came from, you know, all this stuff. Um, this came from our rescue chickens from Ellen, right? And all, oh my goodness, it's all so ridiculous. But uh, so such a good point and just further points to the, uh, the shit show that has been this launch. All right, a few jam memes, then we'll go on to something else. But look at this, Kylie shared this and it's, <laughs> it's that strawberry jam makes me happy. Let's take a zoom in here and see. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This just struck me as so funny. I Sometimes I love just juvenile humor, as you can tell, and I'm here for this so much. Oh, you know, some, some habits die hard, right? So there's that. Um, I guess number 69 of 69. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you that <laughs> I'm dancing around something here. I'm building up to something. All right. You know how, you know how, <laughs> please don't Google this stuff. They always tie back roast chicken to Megan <laughs> because of the whole, we were cooking a roast chicken when Harold proposed and I happened to get a picture and all that bullshit. Don't Google it. It's disgusting. Um, <laughs> well, I got to think, you know, since people allege everything they do has a double meaning, I looked up strawberry jam on Urban Dictionary. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> it's gross. But um, there's two definitions for it, and I'll totally spare you <laughs> spare spare you one of them because it is really gross. But the first top one was um, let's see, um, pink and juicy lady parts. How about that? <laughs> so then a part of me laughs and thinks, yeah, she's doing this on purpose. All right, Lean Meme Machine has two memes we got to look at as far as uh, regarding the jam stuff. <laughs> Speaking of disgusting, here you go, 50 jars of jam. <laughs> got some juicy fruits of some sort. Maybe lemons, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> and a big old juicy strawberry. Oh, yeah, they've been Googling the same things I have. But yeah, well done, Lean Meme Machine. 50 jars of jam. Ew. And then I love this. So she... She shared a very stylized picture, like the, I don't know, I think it was Nacho's wife that shared this one, I can't remember. Um, I was like, oh my goodness, this jam, but <laughs> Lean Me Machine put their awesome spin on things, and <laughs> well, you can read it for yourself, but there you go, written in jam on the toast. Oh, but believe it or not, jam is not the only thing they did to embarrass themselves this week. You guys know this. Let's talk Harry's gray suit, who shared this. Megan's awkward polo moment is the latest in the history of odd viral misstep. Sorry, mishaps. For some reason, Megan keeps getting caught in awkward public moments, sometimes overshadowing caught, not sometimes, always <laughs> overshadowing causes she acts like she wants to promote and giving her critics the ammunition to say she needs to be the center of attention. So I believe that's taken from an article there or for uh, maybe from because this was shared by the Royal Rogue originally. So um, anyway, Harry's gray suit replies to that and says, because Mimi always has to be the center of attention. She took over Invictus Games and now she's taken over Cintabale. I think that's how you say that. Just look at how Mimi gives Boo the nudge. <laughs> nudge is a nice way of saying that. She elbowed the ginger puppet. Uh, <laughs> beady-eyed beaker. She elbowed him out of the way uh, to move 
so she could kiss that guy whenever there's an event. You can always count on this one to make a spectacle of herself. Video credit the Royal Rogue. You know, that's such a good point. I get so stuck on the Netflix ridiculousness of it all. Possibly Netflix. There's still speculation that that's not actually the case. I don't know. I saw cameras too, so I, we'll see what happens there. Uh, wouldn't that be funny if it was just them filming themselves to act like they had a Netflix deal, kind of like she did with the Dior thing? I could go on and on about that. Uh, walking around in a parking lot, waiting for a call from Dior. But my point is, I honestly, it's like I forgot that it was meant to be anything other than the Harry and Meghan show. And I don't know that it was, but... If this is actually a charity event, they, they, if they were trying to promote that, they sure didn't do a good job. It's all about me, 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 and the ginger puppet. <laughs> it, this is so gross. All right. Elon Musk's barista shared, th <laughs> shared this a la the goop candle. Want a shit show Riviera Orchard candle. This smells like Harry's blank. Ew, gross, but hilarious. Oh, oh God. I'm still getting comments. Don't worry, I have a sugar video coming soon. I'm still getting comments from those idiots, the, the sewer squad saying, you're jealous because you want Harry. And I just shudder with disgust when I see things like that. Oh, no. Nobody does. They deserve each other. Enjoy the hell of your own making. All right, Lean Mean Machine once again with fake people. It says Meghan Markle, no, nope, let's just call her Rachel. Rachel and Henry share a kiss after polo match in Florida. It's just Netflix footage. We can't stand each other. <laughs> Exclusive by Backgrid and Netflix. Look at her hair. Look at his nose. Yeah, that's pretty perfect. Fake people. Sounds right. And shall we end on a lovely note? I think we should. Okay, Lee Hood shared this and it says, I just absolutely love Princess Anne. Me too. I love her. The Princess Royal, even in her senior years, she remains sprightly as ever, keeping busy, doing her duties, and standing in for others. This is why she's our favorite royal. One of our favorite royals. <laughs> we love you, Anne. Um, heart, heart, hashtag Princess Anne, Princess Royal. I couldn't agree more. I love her as well. As you know, because I've told it a thousand times and we'll continue to tell it. When I went for coronation, I got to see her. Um, she was in her car. She waved. So I assume we are now best friends. I'm expecting an invite to tea any day now. Isn't she lovely? I love these photos so much. Looking so beautiful. And I love I love seeing things like that. It makes my heart so happy. You know what else makes my heart so happy? Each and every one of you. I appreciate you all so much. I can't tell you the joy your comments have brought me, how many laughs I've had this week because of you guys. So many funny responses to all the antics from those two and to my content. And I just want you to know that means so much. I, I see you all. I don't always have time to respond, but I do read the comments and I love them. And you guys are wonderful. I appreciate you all so much. I really do. Of course, if you want to further support the show, speaking of Princess Anne, we have Not Bloody Likely. Um, and uh, of course, Recollections May Vary merch. And also we have Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where you can get the bonus episodes, the extra deep dives, extra content, stuff like that. So definitely check that out if you're interested. I appreciate you all so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, week. I've already said that. I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> keep sending me the funny memes. I'm enjoying that so much. And, you know, as those two do more dumb things, you know, I'll talk about it. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.